Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and doing looks with all three of the Blitz Astral Quads by Mother Pat McGrath. These were the first quads that Pat McGrath ever launched and by having these, I am completing my Pat McGrath Quads collection. I now have every single quad that she sells. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe I should do a quads ranking video soon. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. In this video, I went ahead and swatched every single one of these for you and I created one look with each quad. If you are excited, don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Patty. I am eyeshadow palette obsessed. And if you are into eyeshadow palettes, makeup reviews, or anything like that, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. I did this video a little bit differently. Usually I show you guys the quads, I then go on to show you the swatches of all of them, and then I do back-to-back -back tutorials. In this video, and I will leave timestamps below, I'm going to go through each quad, show you the palette, show you the swatches, do the look, and then move on to the next one, show you the palette, show you the swatches, show you the look, and that way if you're only interested in one of these quads in particular, you can skip to whichever part of the video you prefer and then I will be giving you my final thoughts on everything towards the end because I feel like I had to talk about them all at the same time. Besides that, I'm also leaving you guys links to the quads, the eyeshadow brushes and the eyeliners that I used in this video as well as everything else that is on my face. So if you're interested in any of these products, definitely check out the links down below. All of the brushes that I used for this video are currently 40% off on the Refer Concept Store, and more importantly, you can now buy them separately, not just in bundles. So if there's any particular brush that you've been wanting but you haven't wanted to get the whole bundle, definitely check to see if it's at the Concept Store um, individually because they have quite a few over there. All right, so with that said, let's get started with the first palette. Here's the first palette we'll be trying today. It is the Blitz Astral Quad in Iconic Illumination. This one out of the three is the one that has the more kind of basic warm tone colors. If you are a warm tone palette lover, I feel like this is definitely the palette for you. Here's the shade Astral Gold Allure, Blitz Bordeaux. I'm hoping that's pronounced that way. Blitz Brown and Bronze Gold. Here are all four shades, as you can see, all of them are shimmery, and then this beautiful shade right here is a wonderful glitter. Let's move on to the tutorial. Okay, first things first, I am priming my eye with the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer from my lashes all the way to right underneath my brow. And this is the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush that I'm distributing things with, which I love. I'm going to start with the Iconic Illumination Quad, and this is that golden bronzy shade. I'm using my Refer number 27 brush, and I am putting that one on my crease, just back and forth, kind of as a transition shade. There's no mattes in these palettes, and obviously you can use all of these shades along with matte shades from elsewhere, but as always, I'm going to stick to the palette that I'm talking about and create looks just with the shades that come in it. Okay, just back and forth blending with my brush. That is so pretty. I switched to the refer number one brush and I'm tapping the dark brown shade on the outer corner of the eye. I also want to use all four shades that come in the quad to create a look with, so wish me luck. Okay, back to my number 27 just to make sure things are blended up here. I'm just back and forth blending, blending, blending. Same number one brush, but this time I'm going to use the reddish shade and I'm putting it right in the center of the eyelid. Once again, back with my number 27, just making sure things blend up here. And I'm just doing windshield wiper motions, nothing on the brush. Last but not least, we're going to use the nice bright shade on the inner part of the eyelid and the inner corner. And I'm applying it with my refer number 28 which this one's currently on sale for $12 on the Refer Concept Store. And I'm taking it halfway in on the top and a third of the way in on the eyelid. Back with my number one brush, I'm just blending any edges. You guys can see I have quite a bit of fallout down here because these shades are pretty sparkly. So I definitely recommend doing the top of your eye before applying makeup. Let me go ahead and clean up my face. 
I'm going to put on some makeup and I'll be right back to finish this look up. Back with some makeup on and I'm going to use my refer number 26 brush right underneath my eye here from the outer corner, like halfway in. This is that dark brown shade. Let me make sure to blend it with the top right here. With the refer number 13, I'm grabbing the golden transition-y shade and I am transitioning the under eye as well. So just back and forth underneath that brown, blending it down. And I'm taking it all the way to my tear duct area, starting from the outer corner and back with my highlight color, I'm going to intensify the inner corner and do a little bit right by my tear duct area here on the inner part. With a clean number 14, I'm doing a little bit of extra blending right under the brow here. This is the look right here before eyeliner or mascara. I'm going to do a brown eyeliner on my waterline and put mascara on and I'll be right back to show you guys the final result. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and put on the rich brown eyeliner from Patrick Tao on my waterline and some mascara on. And this right here is the final look with the iconic illumination palette. Needless to say, I absolutely love it and I feel like I don't know. I might just be too in love with Pat McGrath eyeshadows, but like this looks good and it doesn't even have a matte shadow on the crease. Like even the shimmery shades blended out on the crease look absolutely impeccable, beautiful, wonderful, so glamorous. Let me know what you guys think and let's move on to the Nocturnal Nirvana palette. The second quad we'll be reviewing today is the Blitz Astral Quad in Nocturnal Nirvana. If I'm not mistaken, this is the most colorful palette that I've seen Pat McGrath come up with. And of course, I wanted to stick to using just what the palette brought. So I went ahead and created a very colorful look with this one. But before we get there, let me show you the swatches. Here is Iridescent Gold 003, Blitz Aquamarine, Blitz Purple and VR Emerald. Here's all four shades swatched. The color VR Emerald is mesmerizing to say the least. And the purple shade is a little bit harder pressed than usual Pat McGrath eyeshadows. And I can't wait to show you how I used it for my look. So let's go ahead and get to it. As my first step, I'm grabbing the gold shade as a transition color. And once again, I'm using the refer number 27 brush and just blending this shade back and forth on the crease. For the inner third of my eyelid, I'm going to use the blue shade. This quad is pretty colorful, so I'm not sure how using all four shades is going to turn out, but I'm going to try. I place my blue and back with the fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend the top edge. With my refer number one, I'm going to use that purple shade on the outer corner of my eye. I think this is the darkest shade in this quad, so I wanted to deepen up my outer corner with it. And I'm doing little circles on the outer third of my crease to blend the color into the crease. And I'm taking it halfway through the crease with my refer number one brush. With the tip of my finger, I'm intensifying the outer third because I want the purple to show up purple the way it looks in the pan beautiful. When you blend it out, it looks like a satin, but when you press it on, you can see it's a pretty intense, beautiful purple shade. Okay, so now that I have those two shades where I want them, I want to go in with this beautiful emerald green shade, and I'm going to put it right in the center, right there. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful actually. I thought it would look good, but up until right now, I wasn't 100% sure, but I definitely do love the way that looks. So, oh, you're not even looking. Okay, here we go. That is the green right in the center. I love it. Let me push a little bit more purple forward right here by going through the edge of the green. Honestly, I am obsessed. Let me do some face makeup and I'll be right back and we'll finish this one up. Okay, I'm back with some makeup on and I went ahead and put on my Chanel eyeliner in number 30 in the waterline. For the inner corner, I'm back to the gold shade. I'm putting it on with the refer number two. This is not the brightest inner corner shade, but I'd rather use this one than the blue. For underneath the eye, I'm starting with the purple shade and I'm applying it with the refer number 13 brush. You know what? I think I'm going to put it all throughout my under eye area. I think it looks really good down there. Make sure to mix it right here with the top of the eye at the end. And with a little bit of that gold shade, I'm going to soften the lower edge. Same brush. Okay, so this is the colorful look right here. It's honestly giving me 
peacock vibes which I'm loving let me do some mascara and show you the final result all right back with mascara on this would look absolutely glorious with some lashes because this is such a nice fun intense colorful look however whenever I do looks and I start putting lashes on for every look I end up with so much glue on my lashes because I immediately have to take them out so I'm going to go ahead and skip the lashes but this is what it looks with just mascara on I absolutely love it it gives me some serious peacock vibes and I went ahead with my number 28 brush and put a little bit of blue right under my tear duct area right there so here's my look with the nocturnal nirvana palette I absolutely love it the green in the center was definitely what it needed because at the beginning there I was not sure if it was going to come out all right <laughs> let's move along to the third and last look with the ritualistic rose palette last but not least here is the blitz astro quad in ritualistic rose and I have to say I am obsessed with this one let me go ahead and show you guys the swatches here's the shade antique gold my favorite astro rose orchid Rose Quartz 005 and Beyond Bronze. Here's all four shades swatched. I am in love with the shine and the color story of this beautiful quad. Let's go ahead and get on to the tutorial. Moving on to the Ritualistic Rose Quad, and I do think this might be my favorite one of the three. I'm going in with my Refer number 15 brush and the bronzy shade, and this is going to be my crease color. Just back and forth blending in windshield wiper motions. Then with my refer number 28 and the gold shade, I'm going to do a third of my eyelid in. And the trick if you have hooded eyes like me is to not put the shimmer to where your eye falls. You need to put it to where your eyeball is. So like my eyeball, I feel it right underneath my brush right here. That's where I'm putting it while my eyelid folds down here. With my refer number one brush, I'm going to intensify the outer corner with the deep rose shade. I'm first tapping it on the outer third and then blending it into the crease ever so slightly with the refer number one brush. And I'm not being super careful because I'm going to clean right under here in a second. My favorite shade in this quad is definitely this beautiful duochrome shade right here. And I'm going to tap it right in the center of the eyelid right there with my finger. I put a little bit of rose hip oil on my cotton and I'm going to clean with that right underneath my eye. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I put makeup on. I'm going to put on some makeup and I will be right back and we'll finish up the third look. Back with makeup on and I'm grabbing the deeper rose shade on my refer number 26 brush and I'm patting it on the outer half of my under eye. This number 26 brush is so perfect for this. Same brush and I'm grabbing the glittery shade and I'm going to put it on the first half of the under eye. I'm also going to tap that shade on the inner corner. And then with my refer number 13 brush and the bronzy shade, I'm smoking everything out. Just like this, in my waterline I have two different eyeliners. I first went in with the Q-Ting eyeliner from Fenty but it was too bright pinky for this eye look. So then I went over it with the Walk of No Shame eyeliner and I'm mentioning both of them because even though the walk of no shame is the one that you can see the most I think it looks a little bit lighter than usual because it is on top of this one of course everything including all the eyeliners will be linked down below I absolutely love this look so far let me put on some mascara and I'll be right back to show you the final result okay here's the look after I went ahead and applied some mascara I absolutely love this one check it out on both of my eyes right here so 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 pretty now that you've seen the swatches and the looks with each one of these palettes let me give you guys my final thoughts and tell you which ones are my favorites i will tell you guys the order in which i like them and why i think my least favorite not to say that i don't absolutely love it because i do absolutely love it but out of the three there has to be a bottom one and my least favorite i think is this one this is the iconic illumination quad and i love it because it is really nice warm toned shades which are some of my absolute favorites but at the same time I feel like this is kind of the more common 
color story. This is a color story that I think we've seen repeatedly. And so for that reason, I feel like this quad is not as unique as the other two. However, you guys saw the swatches and you saw the look. I absolutely love the look that I was able to come up with this one. It is so glamorous and beautiful and glorious. And I do love warm toned shades. I die for that red on the eyelid and the inner corner color. I do love this palette, but you know, again, if we have to pick a bottom one, this one is a little bit more common, so I'm going to put it last. The middle palette for me has to be this one here. This is the Nocturnal Nirvana palette, the beautiful, colorful palette. I think, once again, this is Pat McGrath's most colorful palette, especially if we're talking about quads. And she does have some colorful palettes, but I feel like they include neutrals and nudes, and this one is just all color. So if you love color, this is the palette for you. There is one thing about this palette you must know, and that is that the purple is a little bit harder pressed than any other color from Pat McGrath I have um, seen before. So when you're using a fluffy brush with this one, you really have to press your brush against this purple to get the payoff that you want. However, with the finger, you do get exactly the color that the palette is immediately. You can press it on and you get this beautiful, vibrant purple color that is so stunning. However, blended out, it's more of a cool toned satin color. This is a non-issue for me. I absolutely loved spreading it across the crease and the look that I ended up with. But keep in mind that blended out, it's not going to look this way. You only get it to look this vibrant if you press it on with your finger. Besides that, this dual chrome green right here, absolutely stunning loved the blue loved the gold it is a beautiful palette and of course i loved getting creative with it by the way there is a bundle i'm going to link them all individually but i'll also link the bundle what i bought was the bundle so i saved a little bit more money than buying them all individually because you do get a bundle discount in case anybody is interested in all three and then my favorite is the one I'm wearing, which is the Ritualistic Rose. I just cannot get over the beautiful glittery rose color right in the center of my eyelid right now. I love the darker rose tone for the outer corner of the eye. I feel like we sometimes say we are over rose palettes but are we really because this palette is just another rose palette in my collection and i am obsessed and it is my favorite i feel like rose palettes are very wearable i feel very comfortable wearing these shades out and then of course pat mcgrath blitz astral shades are so elegant and powerful and like they are punchy you know they make such a difference that i feel so comfortable wearing these shades even in the middle of the day with this amount of glitter i don't care don't care <laughs> so the ritualistic rose was definitely my favorite one out of the three but truly i did love every single one of these squads i'm super happy that i now have a complete collection again let me know if you guys want me to do um a quads rankings video i'm stressing out just thinking about what i would put where and why because i feel like each one of pat mcgrath quads are a vibe they're each for a different occasion and i would pick them all for different reasons as my number one but if you guys want me to rank them I can work on that. I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. It helps me out because it promotes my video in the YouTube algorithm. Leave me a comment down below telling me which one of these three was your favorite. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe before you leave. I would love it if you join me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye!